Rising from the sand and the sea, Qatar's latest World Cup stadium is coming to life, one shipping container at a time. Sustainability is the main focus for those building the Ras Abu Abud Stadium in Doha. All its components are recyclable and the life-size building blocks are arriving to port, filled with all the materials that will eventually hold them together. Inside the stadium, do you know that it's a container stadium? Can you tell from the inside? From inside, they will notice all, mainly the hospitality boxes, which will have the finish of the uh, container. The containers will be used to make up everything from the stadium's bathrooms, offices and restaurants, but always with an eye on sustainability. What we have considered from the very early stages in the design, that every single component of the stadium, whether it's a container or the steel uh, structure that will hold uh, the containers and the roof as well, uh, we consider from the early stages in the design how these uh, can be reused. The project is expected to be finished by the end of next year. Once completed, it will be the first fully dismantled FIFA World Cup stadium and one of seven being built just for 2022. These are the first containers to arrive. 92 of them just came in from China and 1,000 are expected in total. After the World Cup, this stadium will be disassembled and these containers will be used to build another stadium somewhere else in the world. It's truly a case of thinking outside the box. Part of Qatar's bid for hosting the 2022 games involved a plan to help another country develop its sporting facilities. The 40,000 seat stadium can be moved and split into two or made into an arena. Could be a good opportunity for those uh, countries to, uh, to reutilize the whole uh, facilities that we're going to build here. Qatar has already delivered one of its World Cup venues this year, the Al Janoub Stadium in Al Waqra. Those behind the Ras Abu Abud project say it will cost 20% less than other traditional stadiums. And piece by piece, along Doha's waterfront, it's starting to come together. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera, Doha.